Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. This time I want to measure the battery voltage of my handheld batteries. All right. So what to do, how to do this? Well, I want to measure the battery voltage only in cycles. Uh, I would say, I don't know, every minute it should be enough. There's not really, really something important. Uh, if it's not working, it's not working, all right. But every minute, it should not be drain. It, it should not drain that much energy from the batteries, right? So, uh, ooh, where to start? Here, I add a new timeout. Here, here, timeout, timeout. Ah, uh, check battery. And first time, ten seconds after the start. Uh, okay, first, first uh, battery uh, check 10 times after the start. Battery, ah, battery handheld device, I've already provided this. Okay, battery handheld device. Let's see where I am printing out this battery of the handle alarm. Show battery, ah, here. Alright, this I can already... Hmm. I will make it like this, int y equals 10. I will copy this stuff here and say battery handheld device, everything, and this I will set to y, alright, battery handheld device, battery handheld device, battery handheld device, print battery handheld device, alright, this is good. And here I will add y plus equals 9, 9 pixel to y, and this will shift be shifted downwards. So this is looking for sure decent then. Alright, this should print out the battery. And here we must have somewhere I need to, to write this. So to handle menu. Handle button, check limits, no, setup, no, here, yeah, I will write, if, check battery, timed out, battery, handheld device, equals, and, buttons, dot, get base value. This was this. And check battery. Set timeout. Uh, every minute. 60,000 milliseconds. I think that's it. I think that's it. Now let's upload this. So, there's nothing written. Probably there will also be nothing written there. Hmm. I have to power supply this. I have to fake a battery. Fake a battery with voltages I can select. I'm again using here my, my lab. Uh, minus side. I can again use. I can again use here. This must be minus here, right? plus side, I will simply, simply, let's see if I can grab it, there must be the switch down there, yes, there's the switch, all right, plug it in, this was maybe a bad idea, to plug it in, uh, okay, nothing was going up in smoke, this was good, and here, probably, I can get the information I need directly from this plug. This plug is connected. Let's see if I gently push it in somehow. I should be able to, to grab the voltage from the input, which is measured. Huh? Hopefully I've not destroyed anything. Ooh, this is now a chance for short circuit. Put on those clamps. 
whereas the here we should be able to measure ground and and here good and if I plug it in I should measure here around two volts no I don't <laughs> right there okay the clamp is falling off it's not that easy okay but now yes 2.1 volts all right now hmm now it would be nice it would have been nice do we have already a measurement here no because i only check every <laughs> every minute right so uh i will rewrite this here to check every two seconds, then we don't have to wait that long for a printout. Where is this here? Yes, let's make this. Right now it doesn't really matter. Upload this stuff once again. So I can vary now here the voltage, right? Phew, this was an exact two, two. I will never touch it again. Very precise. Mm. 100 microvolts off. <laughs> if I can believe this. There is no printout, right? Why is there no printout? Is there a printout if I turn this on here? Yes. Ah, because I did not update the screen. <laughs> this is nice. This is where, why there was no printout. Ah, update lines. I must set update lines. But now it should work. Turn this off again. Six hundred fifty-three. Six hundred fifty-three. All right, six hundred fifty-three. If I change this, it should. You can read it, I guess. He has written six hundred sixty-three. Maybe I make it like that. Camera. All right. Maybe a little bit bigger. Six hundred fifty-three. And if I change this, this should change. Yes. And a two dot. Five, I have 814. This shall be 100%. 2.5. Uh, 2.5, take a note. 2.5 volts. 814. And 2 volts, which should be 0. 653 2 volts 653 okay so and i have to to change or calculate now this equals 100 percent and this equals zero percent so we'll make the value minus 600 653 it is 800 it was wrong yeah. 814 minus 653 yeah divided by 100 1.6 yeah so i these are one if 1.6 is correct then this would be 5 Six, seven, eight multiplied by eight divided by five. Yeah, eight fifth part. Yeah, it's one dot six. All right. So I will do it like that. That we say battery uh, handheld device minus equals six hundred fifty three, and then we make battery. Handheld device multiplied by 8 and battery handheld device where I am now. 
divided by 5. That's it. I think this should now do the trick and display something between 0 and 100. Hopefully. Zero. All right. And it's also printed in, in red color. Zero. Going up. Ooh. No. <sighs> of course, the other way around. Man, gold hands. Multiplied by five divided by eight. Uh, okay, man, 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 it's so one failure. Oh, what an error. I know. Ooh, and now I only I also have to battery HHT equals minimum from uh, uh, 100 and battery. Okay. So limit this to 100%. Again, the same, same mistake. And maximum of zero. Limit this to minimax. But now it's working. Now it's working. Two to the five volts. 100, yes. 93%, yes, now it's working great. And if I reach 2 volts, I should see 0. Of course, it's not accurate. Good. Good. Okay. What I still want to know is how much, how much voltage, how much is drained here. Right, so I'm I'm going how that to do that. Measure this off. Yeah, here unplug, zack zack. Here unplug here as well. Because actually I should be able to power supply this here, faking a battery from here. And measure, these two I can remove, and measure the current drawn. So we want to have uh, milliamps from here. And here we only have to use a cord. Correct. Only have to use a cord. And see ma how much milliamps this setup takes natively. 19. 19 milliamps. This is working? No. <laughs> Why? Why is there 19 milliamps? Ah, so, again I have to go up to 4 volts to power supply this stuff. Okay, this doesn't look too good. Is it? 140 milliamps. Okay, this will drain the battery pretty quickly, I must say. Hmm. Have it destroyed now or something? There's a feeping going on. What is going on there? What is going on? Why can't I pull? Something's broken now, what? Unplug. It's working like that. This is working. Alright. Why is it not working with the power supply? Hmm. What if I do not power supply this with the handheld device, but only, only like this? Then it's working. I cannot measure. I cannot measure. <sighs> mm -hmm. Seems like the internal resistance of my hmm, of my current measurement device is too big. 
But anyway, we have seen we are draining quite some, some current. I will have a look into how how we can get this this thing to sleep here. Mm. We'll do that. I will do that. Yes. Power saving. Next video. Power saving with the ESP 8233. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.